free. Good girl, he look like beef jerky. 
It's all right, I'm paying, yeah. <laughs> but ain't nobody gonna fuck Freddy Krueger. <laughs> I can't even that nigga eat it, because I be sitting there like, God damn, man. I'm up here trying to enjoy my steak, and it's beating well, and here your ass, well done. <laughs> Go to the car and sip at Jerome with his shit back. He smells shitty, and you shitty love him. Get your ass out. I was on a plane with my cousin one time, his stupid ass. He goes in, we, the pilot come over the intercom and said, Attention in the cabin, we're going through a little bit of slight rough air. Please tighten your seatbelt. So I'm tightening my shit up, and I thought it was going to be light, turbulent. This shit started shaking the plane like we was in the eye of a fucking hurricane. I got my prayer on. I'm like, oh, the oh, Lord. Let the wings be soft as a breeze. Jesus. Let the clouds be like cotton jeans. Let your angels touch these wings and keep them high. Let one of your angels just step up in the pocket. Step up in the cockpit, y'all. <laughs> this nigga gonna cut off my breath. I'm gonna hold all that shit. Let me tell you something. These pilots better get this plane together. Because if they crash this motherfucker, I'm gonna get bad. <laughs> no, you ain't. You gonna get angel wings. Ain't nobody real. For no 30,000 foot drop. You ever see if a motherfucker live on a 30,000 foot drop, he ain't normal no more. That motherfucker like, <laughs> 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 Something's happening. <laughs> and if you do, if you do live on a 30,000 foot drop, your ass ain't all the way human no more. You just be an eyeball. They be like, <laughs> they be like congratulations, Blakey. You are a real. <laughs> You are the richest eyeball in the world. <laughs> now you're able to buy you a bunch of color contact lenses and get your eyebrow arched. <laughs> that don't make no goddamn sense. Get your ass out of there. Ain't nothing much money in the world to get me fucked up. That's great. I was dating this girl before I met my wife. Uh, we, we went to the Universal Soul Circus. Now, the circus was nice. They had clowns and shit. They had trapeze artists. Then they had the animal act came out. They had the monkey. The monkey did some monkey things. And then the tiger came out, did some tiger shit. <laughs> but I don't know what this trainer did to this elephant in the back. But when this elephant came out, he didn't want to cooperate. And the trainer was yelling at the elephant, get him on the bus, turn through. And the elephant looked at the trainer and swung his trunk and knocked the shit out of the trainer. He slid over on his side and the elephant started charging the audience. And I was like, damn. I said, damn, I hope this part of the show. <laughs> and then, then the trainer said something. Then the trainer said something that was real, very, very important. That motherfucker said. <laughs> running for your life! <laughs> now, I ain't much for running. But when I heard him say, run for your life, I hauled all my ass. <laughs> I run past my day, this half was still sitting there, eating peanuts. Where she got fucked up at, at an Easter picture.
and right on the back. <laughs> Who's stupid ass friend out there yelling at me while I'm telling my goddamn joke? Why you do that? What is that wrong, motherfuckers? <laughs> what you yelling for? Who the fuck you yelling? Now you don't want to show yourself? I heard your ass, but I'm gonna finish my fucking joke. <laughs> Put your daffy duck ass up. Like all you gotta show the fuck off at the show. Just shut your monkey ass up. You in college, you must should be smarter than that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you do that. I know he ain't supposed to be cousin, but I'm fucking, I'm grown. Fuck Y'all grown too, y'all done heard fuck before. Yeah. I'm sweating already. This big ass high beam French fry light on. I feel like one of them hot dogs at 7 Eleven on that grill. Been on that grill for three days. Ain't nobody bought me yet. I'm bending this shit. Oof, oof. I swear, bro, I'm glad it cooled off in Mississippi. I know it get hot as shit down here. I was in Dallas, Texas, it was 110 degrees down there, motherfucker. I sweat wrong. I was, I was sweat right. I sweat all around my teddy ring. My balls stick to my thigh. Look at your brother doing this shit. He trying to get his balls off his thigh. You ever, <laughs> ever had an old man direction? Hey, man, how you get down Broadway? Wait, well, you want me to left off the first thing? Trying to get his balls off his side. Shit, I sweat down the middle of my back. You little bees of sweat go down the middle of my back. <laughs> Tickle my booty cheeks feel like a bug. Please, Lord, don't let that be no spider, please. Please let no spider bite me in the middle of my ass. I'm too big to die from a spider bite. Another reason why I don't like you. It being hot because when you fat, you gotta take an extra shower. You know, see, you get for real good. It's one thing to be known as fat, but you don't wanna be known as fat and funky. Somebody, somebody get mad, you fat funky, hold on, man. Hold on, I ain't gonna be two kinds of them motherfuckers. I refuse to be two kinds. And I take showers, I don't take baths, I take showers. You can suds up in the shower, rinse off, everything you wash off your ass, go down the drain. You can suds up one more time, wash up, and go down the drain. You take a bath, everything you rinse off your ass, swim around, you trying to get back up on you. I'm gonna get up in this belly but this time. No, you won't, bacteria! I'm gonna get up in this ass. Get away, bacteria! My wife always want to do that shit. We should take a bath together. We should take a bath together. I'm like, nah. I don't know about that, though. You know, another reason why I don't like taking a bath is when I was a little boy, I could fill the tub up. It'd be like a little swimming pool. But, but, but now that I'm a big ass man, I don't know the proper fat to water ratio. <laughs> When you meet him, when you meet him fat, all you need is this much water in the tub. When you my size, you just need a spoonful. <laughs> my wife, she had set up the bath all sexy for candles and shit and gold belt. Had a little slow jam playing on the CD player. I was in the yard. She said, come on, baby, let's take a bath. I said, this is nice. This is real nice. I said, she said, get in with me. I said, no, nah, you get on in first. You know, because she's a little petite somebody, so she got on in the tub all light and dainty. Couldn't do it. Shh. She's like, come on, baby, get in with me. I said, okay, I try to be petite too. And I put my foot in that tub, my foot slipped, my ass hit the bottom of that tub. Tsunami, that's all I'm saying. Tsunami. It washed all the candles, the CD player.
Yeah. I, I don't fuck with heat, man. I don't play. Shit, I be in my car, with my air conditioning on. Super high match. My eyes be dried out. I be drinking a Slurpee at the same time. I like to pull up in the light, and motherfucker ain't got air conditioning. Be looking over at me all sad and shit. <laughs> and they kid me in the back seat, talking about, can we ride with you?
pray to die fat. I just hate to wake up in heaven and still be fat. Be a fat ass angel walk around with a little bitty ass wing. The other angel be teaching them other man, fly me with us. You know I can't fly with that one. You know I sprained my wing last week trying to fly with that a couple days later, I walk around, I ain't got no wings at all. I said, where your wings at, man? I got hungry last night, dragging something in the middle of the night. You know, Jesus goes down to the cafeteria at 12 30, you know, but I get hungry around 12 30. <laughs> they always try to mess with fat folks. You need to drink some water. Water to flush the fat out. Put some Kool-Aid and some sugar in that water, I drink all the water you got. <laughs> grape or red? Red ain't grape. Make it grape. I don't give a shit. Hook it up. Why we trying to help fat folks out? Leave us alone. <laughs> help somebody need your help like cross-eyed people. Cause they going to do some shit. Cause everybody was looking at that old messed up ass eye. <laughs> what you looking at? Nothing. You looking at my eyes. Because you know when a cross-eyed person driving you in the car, you're trying to get out to the interstate, you're talking about, all clear on my side. <laughs> like, bullshit, let me look. Man, I don't know where the hell your ass is looking at. You got one ass spinning around up here. Other one pointing down the ground, you look like you're looking at some shit in the future. Close your eyes, look like you're trying to put a spell on me. You know they, who they should help is people with bad breath. Ooh, I hate some bitch with bad breath. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Why they don't know? They breath smell like dead hippo ass. Mixed with onions and a side of cabbage. And they always got a secret, don't they? Come here, come here. Tell me from Everybody here was shit. I don't want to hear it either. Put it on my voice, man. I can't hold my breath that goddamn long. But you ever get Because the people with bad breath, why do they conversation last forever, though? Yeah, you know, her up them. Hold them on my house. Hold them. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, so inter I'm interrupting you, but I can't hold my breath no goddamn long. I think one of my lungs could last, I swear to God. Let me talk to your booty for a minute and get some fresh air. Hell, let me fart and get some fresh air. I don't know what the hell your ass ate today, but that shit smells disgusting. You need a garden with bleach or something. And why? This is what trips me out. Why? When you tell somebody they breath stink, they get mad at you. Hey dog, uh, I don't mean no harm, but take this man, your breath is hot. Hey, like, fuck you, motherfucker. Your breath is hot. No, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm trying to be nice to your bitch ass and I punch you in your fucking mouth. I should chop your goddamn head off and suck a bitch. You fucking up the ozone there in your goddamn bad mouth, motherfucker. Fuck, you gonna get mad at me for giving your bitch ass a bit. I care about your bitch ass. <laughs> Shit, I tell anybody they breath thing, I don't care. I, I ain't afraid of people be getting back. Fuck it, I tell them. It helps everybody out in the long run. <laughs> For real, I, I got robbed last year. I did. I got robbed. This dude came up on me, man. Had a gun in my side. Talking about this a hold up. I'm like, no, dog, hold up. I don't know what the fuck you ate before you came over to rob me. But you, <laughs> oh, shit, please don't say nothing else to me. I can't take no more of them shit bullets coming out your goddamn mouth. Matter of fact, you didn't even need that gun. You could have just said, hold up. I'm going to get you everything I got that right. Matter of fact, shoot me in my nose so I can smell no more of that shit. Coming out your goddamn mouth. You got so mad that fuck you, fat boy, and then you can rob me. <laughs> you got 
got to tell them. You, you got to let them know. They tell me for anything. They let them know anything. Like my wife, now that we married, now I snore. Ain't that a bit? When we were dating, we cuddled up all night. Never woke me up. Now we married. We got, wake up. Wake up. You snoring. I said, that's what you're supposed to do when you sleep. <laughs> what you want me to do, huh? She snored too, but a little punk ass snored. It, it sounded like a typewriter. Like, <laughs> 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 Will you wake up and finish that letter so I can get the goddamn thing? Shit. I snore like a man. I snore. I mean, <laughs> 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 I wake myself up. <laughs> I got a cousin here a little bigger than me. He be snoring with his eyes open. That be killing everybody. He be up there with his eyes wide open. Ah! I would like to inquire on number one. 
She said, you mean the Big Mac meals, sir? I said, that is correct. She said, sir, do you know at this time you can add another Big Mac to your meal for only $1.25? I was like, do tell, young lady, do tell. By the time she told me all the deals were dollars, I walked out with $150 worth of food. I was so full, I couldn't even make it through the car. I had to lay on the side at the playground. The kids were pissed off at me. I'm out there. You gotta move. We can't slide down. I said, you don't need to slide in the mud. Don't give me a chocolate shake. And I'll let you bounce off my belly. Well, Matt Dollar be bullshit. They be bullshit. They been selling millions and millions of hamburgers. Now they want to start selling salads. That's preposterous. <laughs> I went up to Matt Dollar the other day. I was hungry again. I was talking to my action. I went in. Hello, young lady. She went, hi, sir. Would you like to try one of our sensational salads? I said, no. <laughs> I said, why would I want one of your sensational salads when you have this delicious Big Mac up here? Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on the sesame seed bun. You want me to sacrifice it for a bullshit ass sensational salad? And one carrot, a raisin, and a peanut on top of five acres of lettuce? And you give me one pack of ranch to eat it all with? I say no. I say no. I love that big man, you scream that fist off, run down your hand, just suck it back up. You get on your shirt and suck it off your body. <laughs> they need to put me in charge of Big Mac ideas. For real, I took a Big Mac the other night, crumbled that motherfucker, put special sauce on it, some cheese, and some pickles. And I ate it with a fork. I called it a Big Mac casserole. The first one to take the middle bun off the Big Mac so the meat can be. <laughs> I upgraded the french fry. I said, hell, it couldn't catch up on the fry. I injected the french fry with ketchup. So when you bite into the french fry, ketchup just bust in your mouth. <laughs> oh! Is somebody fat out there talking about, he's a genius! Let <laughs> me take a fat break. This french fry like cooking the shit out of me. I'm sweating inside. I'm gonna need a sham wild towel for this. Sham wild. I'm proud of y'all in school this shit, man. I uh, hope y'all graduate and do what you wanna do with your, your degree, whatever it is. From Restaurant to delicate concession, fucking doctors, <laughs> professors, uh, security guard, <laughs> porno star, whatever, but whatever you're gonna do. I, I agree. Because you know, that's, that's following your dream, you know what I mean? Like Obama, he went to school, he became black president. Okay, you gotta give it to him. People be dogging out, what Obama gonna do? He did it, shit. You know how hard it is to become black president? See, that's hard as hell. He made it, shit. That's history right there, fuck bullshit. <laughs> hell, the country was already fucked up before he got in there. What the hell is his ass gonna do, shit? He couldn't do the same shit. Shit, I like Obama, fuck. Black people wasn't supporting him the first time out he wasn't black enough. Shit, who you want, Flavor Flav? <laughs> Obama black enough. Look at his hair. It's nappy as shit. And his daddy ran off. He black enough. Because being black is a powerful thing, you know? You black students out here, y'all going to school for y'all people. You can't just be in school for yourself. You got your grandmama and grandmama them all giving you the little punk ass stories and shit. 
you do this for all of us. You lie by yourself. I couldn't go to school. Why not? See, you done brought your ass to me. You know, he, he, he did it, shit, he, he believed in himself. And, you know, America was hard on his ass, shit. Uh, Obama did some powerful shit. He had people voting they ain't never voted in their life. Shit, he had my drunk ass up the line and vote. He didn't know he was voting. He was standing there with his crown raw bag, trying to act normal. He thought the liquor store had opened early. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to act normal, and all of a sudden, why the media always put the camera on the dumbest son of a bitch to represent your people? They put the camera right on my uncle talking about, so sir, who would you might be voting for in this year's election? My uncle was like, shit, the one and only Bullhammer. I'll get your drunk ass over here, get over here. It's Obama, I knew it was an ominous son of a bitch somewhere. I was so proud when Obama won, I went and found me a t-shirt with his picture on it in my side. Well, it was almost in my side. I got it over my head. It was a little tight on my chest, so I cut it down the middle and turned it into an Obama vest. Everybody was like, dang! Where you get that Obama vest from? I said, it's an exclusive player. It's an exclusive I couldn't wait to vote for Obama though, man. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. If this is last term, this is his final term, that's cool because I got to be a part of history. I walked in there, oh, you can clap for that. <laughs> for real, because when I walked in that voters booth, I couldn't wait. I saw his name and I pressed Obama. And I felt like it come through my bike. <laughs> I started singing that Negro spiritual, lift every voice I sing. I don't know the rest of the words. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I then I realized there was other shit I had to vote for that I had to read. Like Amendment 1, do you vote for the diversity of the qualification of Zone 3 with the zone of 7, 8, and 9 with the section 6, 4, and 8? Yes or no? <laughs> I don't even give a shit. I said, hell yes. They were like, thanks a lot, you just voted to build a highway through a retarded school. <laughs> Why you just didn't say that shit? Retarded people mad at me, thanks a lot. Put your helmet back on, get the fuck back on that bus. <laughs> Obama did what he supposed to do, shit. The American mad at him for being president, it ain't his goddamn fault. It ain't. This is school system's fault. Shit, if they were never, then the teachers told him, sold him a dream about Obama, you can be president of the United States. Really? You certainly can. Well, damn it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be president of the United States. And he did it. I remember my teacher told me that shit. I was like, hell, you can be president of the United States. I said, bitch, stop lying. I can't be president of my own class. How the fuck can be president of the United States? She and my cousin Larry believed him though. He believed the shit out of him. <laughs> Larry said, Miss Murphy, I'm gonna be an astronaut. He said, that's right, Larry. You ain't for the stars. You can be an astronaut. <laughs> I said, Larry, shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> Yo, goddamn way you can't be no astronaut. Every time a brother go up in space, they blow that son bitch up. <laughs> he, they let you know about the initials on the space program. We ain't supposed to be up there. NASA. That's the short word. NASA. N-A-S-A stands for niggas ain't supposed to be astronauts. Mentor these kids, 
kids, man. Mentor these little kids, young kids, man. Take one of them on your wing. You out here getting your education. She a mentor, man. Help them out. You got brothers and sisters and shit. Mentor, because these kids getting out of control. Fighting teachers and shit. And they parents, they parents come to hell too. They keep the hand and come to them. What the fuck's wrong with you? You got a PTA meet that in. You gonna hit my son again, he gonna fuck you up. Now. Give him an eight. <laughs> But now the kid need that help. I think nephew getting out of control. For real. Man, I tell you, you know, I gotta take him on my wing because everything he hear, he pick up. Like I, we watch that reality show, Brandy and Ray J, you ever see that? I like Brandy, but I can't stand Ray J. I'm sorry. For real. I ain't dissing the brother as a person, but I hate him on that show because this punk ass always got these little saints. He got this one saying now that he say all the time, I keep it 100, I keep it 100, you know me, I keep it 100. My nephew heard that, and that's all his ass say now. You know me, I keep it 100, I keep it 100, I keep it 100. And you know, and I don't even know what the hell it mean. Hell, he, he 12, and I know his ass don't know what it mean. Shit, I had to ask my criminal ass cousin what it mean. And he gonna tell me, it mean you tell the truth. 100%. This man from the line or something, so I knew he knew that. So I, I, I understood, because like when I grew up, I'm 42. When I grew up, they had them little sayings, you know, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Or the other was like, if I'm lying, let the Lord strike me down, right? Yeah. But nowadays, they say, keep it 100. You know, keep it 100. And I knew he didn't know what it means because I asked his ass last week, did he see my box of famous famous chocolate chip cookies with the peacock? And he talking about, I ain't seen him. And I found an empty box under the goddamn bed. I said, so what was you keeping it last week? 25%? <laughs> and every week he got a new thing. You know, I got that serious radio, the satellite radio, and they got that backspin. I play all that old, old rap. And they got this one song going on. He's like, oh, I'm down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. I'm down. And uh, he heard that song. He said it all the time. You know me, Uncle? I'm down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. I'm like, slow down, boy. You don't want to say that shit everywhere. <laughs> you wake up butt naked with a rainbow tattoo in your ass. And your booty all tore out. Watch your mouth. <laughs> But that wasn't even the worst one. I bought them that PlayStation 3, and they had, and I bought them that video game. His mama didn't want them to have that Grand Theft Auto, and he in there, he in there playing Grand Theft Auto, just snapping off. He shoot people in. Yeah, Take that fool. <laughs> Take that kid. Yeah. You just got shot by a real nigga. I'm like, whoa. What the hell did he say, real nigga? What the hell is a real nigga? I know what a nigga is, but what the fuck is a real nigga? Is that like a nigga werewolf or something? <laughs> we gotta get out of these streets. The real nigga's coming. Ooh, my son got bit by a real nigga. We gotta get out of here. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't know what a real nigga was, you know? I ain't know, like, you know, like being in walk down the street and a Ku Klux Klan and the skinheads around him. you like, hey, fat nigga. You're all right. Get your fat ass out of here. But your nephew, we about to fuck him up. Cause he's a real nigga. <laughs> now get your fat ass out of here. Right away, sir. <laughs> Thank God I ain't no real nigga. <laughs> but I worry about him though, I really do. I worry about him cause, you know, I don't want us to be in the wrong neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Be in the wrong neighborhood and all of a sudden, you know, eat somebody jump. Cause back in the day, when I was growing up, you get robbed and they fuck you up. Sing your own way. Give me your money. Here you go. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Nowadays, it's 2010. They step their game up. They don't just rob you and fuck you up. They do extra shit to you. I mean, we walk down the street, some dude jump out the bush like, yeah! <laughs> I got your ass now. Ooh, I got your ass now. Get on your knees. <laughs> I'm finna rob you. Then I'm gonna fuck you up. And after I fuck you up, I'm gonna make both of y'all suck my dick. <laughs> oh Lord! Times have changed! Excuse me, Mr. 
rival, Mr. Need a role model? What is it? <laughs> Can you please just rob me and fuck me up? Because I'm too old to start sucking anybody there. But my nephew here, he said he down for whatever. He's my friend. No, Jack, no, Jack. Oh, come on now. Let's keep it 100. Then he started crying. Why you crying? I thought you were a real nigga. Thank you. I'm getting on the bell. Yeah, 
Alright, DJ, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna count you down. I will everybody get up. Everybody get up. Everybody get up. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something right now. If there's somebody beside you that don't wanna get up and they wanna be all bougie, get your dance on and bust that bitch in the mouth. Cause we gon' we gon' we gon' make JSU work. I understand. Is this is this is this the, is this the home of the sonic boom of the sound? Hey y'all, if you will, if you will, real real quick, look to the center and look at that nigga shirt. I have all the dark skinned people in the audience, so I'm chuckling, folks. Light skinned, light skinned people, where you at? Light skinned. One time, all the short people, too. Everybody under 16 makes a fair noise. One time, one time for all the fat people, fat people. One time for all. Why did, why did, why did? I bet you I get more screen than you. One time for all the not gay people make some noise. more people than you will ever have. One time for everybody to take out a student loan. Where you at? Shoot this bitch up. <laughs> ah, so here we go. 